Hello everyone, Twist and Coles here. So if you're following me on Instagram, you already know what this video is about. I cannot resist. Yes, I'm taking my daughter's mini twist down to try this dryer out. If you're interested, stay tuned and let me know what you guys think. Okay, so I'm letting my niece and Lexi Coles help me out with this video and my younger niece is gonna help as well. So you guys enjoy. Revere sent us this blow dryer to try. Let's open it. So as I during the unboxing, I'm just gonna share exactly what was sent. And this was sent to me from Revere. And I really appreciate them for sending it to me. Cause I mean, it's very expensive, but you know, you'll see, it's, you'll see, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. So here she's just showing you that it comes with the filter. It comes with the wand holder as well as a water bottle and it comes with four alligator clips and it also came with hair ties. Who doesn't love hair ties? I love hair ties. So here you see me reading through the instructions, trying to figure out how to assemble. And it wasn't hard at all. It was just, you know, a couple pieces here and there, like two steps and we're done. So once you pop the filter in, then you pop the holes on. And the only thing that I will make sure you do is to turn that knob that's on the top that'll uh, go ahead and lock that holes in place. And there you have it. Okay, we're starting on our freshly washed hair. I've already sprayed her hair. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I already add some heat protecting. And I'm just gonna brush each section out to make sure it's thoroughly detangled before we actually start the blow drying process. So once you have the section detangled, you're gonna just separate a, um, about a two inch section and use one of your handy dandy clips that they send you and clip away the rest of the hair. And I'm starting out on, I believe three. Okay, so there's also a temperature setting on the actual one. And I started out on the high setting. I had watched some previous videos, so I definitely think her hair can tolerate the high setting. And I'm just placing that one on her hair. It immediately sucked it right up. And there was no need for me to bounce or pump the one. It just, I just sat it there. You could feel the air distributing through her hair. So three didn't work. So we're gonna bump it up a little bit more. I think I took it to a five. And I'm gonna actually leave it on for about 70 or 80 seconds to see how it goes. So I unmuted that clip so you guys can actually hear the sound of the dryer. It is definitely um, loud. You cannot talk over it at all. As you can see at the end, I was saying I was gonna leave it on for 70, 80 seconds here. And I have the tension on a five this time instead of a three. And I'm we're gonna see what it looks like. I personally think it did a good job. I think you can take it further if you want to, but for her hair, I'm okay with the results here. Okay guys, I'm just kind of blown away. I'm like really, really, I really wanted to try leaving it on longer and I think this time I actually left it on for 90 seconds because I had a thicker section so you guys from the roots down everything was dry you know I initially after I saw the dry I kept thinking I'm like maybe there were, the roots will probably still be wet no this actually dries the roots to the tips completely that that's amazing look at the difference look at the shrinkage wow so I'm blown away it's amazing I like it especially for kids I don't know if you ever had a if you're a braider like me if you had a client that is two or three that's normally when you lose the trust of that three-year-old or that two-year-old when you put that 
comb blow dryer or that brush in the blow dryer, if there is any ounce of tenderness to their scalp, that's normally when you lose your toddlers when it's time to braid. But this right here, to me, is a game changer if you deal with toddlers or younger kids that are, you know, don't really care for their hair to be combed while you're blow drying or brushed while you're blow drying. I think this is gonna save tons of time. Okay, now we're gonna try on my niece. She has a looser curl pattern than my daughter's hair, so I just wanna see how her hair responds and the difference between uh, a tighter texture and a looser texture as far as the tension level, as far as how many seconds and how long it takes to dry. So I'll let you guys know at the end. So I'm gonna repeat the same steps. I'm brushing out her hair each section and then I'm gonna start out on a three and then we're gonna move up from there. I believe I started on a two initially with her and then we moved up from there. Okay, so a two for 30 seconds didn't do much. It dried it a little bit. So I'm gonna take it a step further and take it to a four, I believe. And we left it on for, I think an additional, maybe like 15 more seconds. So this next section, I'm actually gonna be able to see it if uh, attention leveled at four and leaving it on for 30 to 60 seconds, how that would do. And it's just trial and error. You just kind of play with it. And that's what we did with their hair, just kind of see what level was best for each one. And the end results for her was um, a level four, and we left it on for 60 seconds, and that was perfect for her. And again, she has a looser texture. For my daughter, Lexi Coils, we actually left hers on for 80 to 90 seconds, and, and that was on a level five. So, like I said, we could have took it a step further and um, probably went up one more level on attention. But um, overall, I'm very pleased with the results. And you can see her texture is definitely a little bit looser. And you can see the comparison from the blow dry side and the side that hasn't been blown dry, and it's amazing. So, that's pretty much um, sums up the girl's hair looking at a tighter texture versus a looser texture. It did take a little bit longer with um, the tighter texture. It took about 17 minutes or 16 minutes, I think. And it took about 13 minutes to blow dry her hair. <laughs> However, I blow dried two heads Hello. in a little over 30 minutes. That's amazing to me. Okay, so I'm gonna so let you guys hear the girls' thoughts on the dryer. Uh, the dryer felt pretty cool. Yeah, it did. What do you think? What did you guys think of the dryer? I think uh, it was cool. It was quick. It was really cool. I like cool. it. It really flattened your hair when you take it. Yeah, out. it really made it flat. And so, what did it feel like now? It, it felt, felt like, like it was really quick, and it felt really cool. I feel like it was like it was like a flat, like when you flat your hair, but it actually like sticks on your hair and makes it flat. So, would you guys use it again? Yeah. Yes. Okay, give the girls a huge thumbs up. They did an amazing job. They had a lot of fun filming this video. And I just appreciate them for letting me try the new Revere dryer on their hair. It really worked well. 
Okay, so now we're gonna try the dryer on my niece. She's four, so um, sometimes blow drying a smaller child's hair is challenging because they just don't like to feel that direct heat. No matter if you have it on low, they just, some of them don't like it. So I think this is really gonna work well, especially for your younger clients if you are a braider. Okay, so I'm gonna put the dry on a low setting because I want her to get a feel for it. I'm gonna let her put her hand near the dryer so it doesn't startle her. Okay. Okay, it's gonna be loud, ready? Okay, so I just want to pop in and tell you the tension level that we're using as well as the setting. We're using uh, the tension of 5 and we're using the high setting and I'm leaving it on for about 30 seconds with her hair. How's your hair feel? My hair, my hair just like mommy. Yes. Did you like the dryer? Uh -huh. I, I like that one and that one. You like the dryer? Uh -huh. I like two of them. Two of them? Did it, did it suck your hand up? Uh -huh. Did it suck your hand a little bit? Uh -huh. Did it hurt? Nope. Nope. Good. You want to shake your hair? So you know what's next, right? Mm -hmm. What's next? I don't know if I put my beads in like this, like this. You're going to put your beads in. What's next is these right here. That's scissors. Scissors. It's time to trim, right? Mm hmm Yeah. And I want to see the other ones now. The other scissors? Mm hmm They over there. Can you say bye? Bye. Can you do like this? Mm-hmm. Can you do like this? Bye. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and unboxing. And I want to thank Revere for sending us a dryer to try. It's definitely kid approved. The kids enjoyed the dryer completely. You can see here by them shaking their head, they really enjoy it. This is a style that we chose in the end. There'll be a mini tutorial on my Instagram page. So if you're not following me, go follow me to see how I achieve this look on the girls. And I want to thank my new subscribers and current subscribers for hanging in there with me. You guys have a blessed day.